We're now South Devon and Torbay. We've come together under the new CCG arrangements. And what we're really proud of in South Devon is our virtual wards and our predictive modelling. So about identifying the right patients. So what we're doing with our project is bringing those two really good pieces of work together. So the fact that Devon are great at, at identifying the right patients and bringing people together in a room. And Torbay already have fantastic integrated health and social care services and their community services have a great record. So the first thing, the first step is how do we identify the patients that, that need looking after? Because we don't want to wait until they've fallen over or ended up in hospital or called 999. Um, we want to be able to predict them first. So we use the combined predictive model. It's um, a computer algorithm. It uses primary and secondary care data and um, A&E attendance data to produce a risk score. What it enables practices to do, we, we then ask them, uh, and it's on a, an incentive scheme, to proactively target and case manage the top half a percent of high-risk patients to see what they can do to mitigate the risks and reduce the likelihood of admission or readmission. So how do we use that in the virtual ward? Well, you know, virtual wards aren't new. The reason that I think ours work is because we've been doing it for uh, over two years now across the whole of Devon, and we've kept at it. The, ca- the patients are discussed at multidisciplinary team meetings at least once a month, and it's about holistic care, so it's bringing in all the different carers that, that could be involved, so the voluntary sector, mental health, occupational therapists, community matrons. The patients are allocated the most appropriate case manager, so the team discuss it. What makes it work is that it is absolute teamwork. doesn't matter who they work for, doesn't matter whether they are a healthcare assistant, voluntary sector or a consultant. By looking just at the case-managed patients, the top half a percent of at-risk patients their admission, their emergency admissions have gone down by over a quarter and we were absolutely staggered by that and thrilled. We knew what we were doing was right, we knew it was the, we knew it was the right thing to do but we were absolutely thrilled to have that data, the evidence that what we're doing works. I can't stress enough the need to be proactive and when you identify a case manager it can't be someone saying, well I know Doris, she knows me, when she's ill she'll give me a call and I'll pop round that's not proactive that isn't good enough that's what we've always done and that's why Doris keeps getting ill despite the fact that Torbay have a great integrated model South Devon we aren't yet have we don't yet have an integrated model between health and social care so it's really important that we get those personal relationships going so that we have those we can get through without any barriers between organizations and that that's really that's the strongest thing I can recommend is is just build those relationships so that what until we do have an integrated system you can make those barriers as seamless as possible